Hey, what's up high levelers? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use the drip action in the workflows using Go High Level. Now, drip sequences are really helpful in use cases where you are processing a lot of leads through the workflows at any given time. And in this example, I'm gonna use a use case that I'm using for a medical company where we are sending a voicemail database reactivations. So what we do is that every day at 10.45 a.m., we add using this tags that we have mentioned right here, we basically add more than 3000 people and all of them get entered into the workflow right away. And our goal is to send them a voicemail where we promote our offer trying to reactivate them. And then at the end of this voice drop, what we do is we mention that, hey, you know, please, if you're interested, call us back at this number and then, you know, we can take this further. So let's imagine if we process 3000 leads at one second, right? And even if 10% of them call back, that's more than 300 calls coming our way, which is impossible to handle even for a bigger team, right? So in use cases like these where you're sending, let's say database reactivations or you're promoting your offer to a cold audience in, in big batches, if they reply back to you, it's gonna become really impossible for you to process all of that. So to handle that efficiently and not to overflow the system, what you can do is use the drip action, which is available in workflow. So all you have to do is just click on the plus button and, and then you can type in drip. Once you select that, it's gonna give you three options. So the first one is of course where you name that step and then you have to choose the batch size. So imagine if you were working with 3000 leads, what you can do is if you want to process 300 in a given time, put 300 here and then you use the interval. So what we like to do is we put usually like 10 minutes. So what will happen is that only 300 leads in 10 minutes will be processed to the next step, which is the voicemail, right? So you can actually use multiple drip steps if you want to use that. But what we do is we put one drip mode right here. We process 300 leads. So only 300 will go to this step in 10 minutes. And then after the 10 minute interval is over, it will process 300 more people. So it won't be creating an overwhelming environment for your team. And then, you know, you will be able to process everything very easily. All right, so that's it. It's really simple yet effective. So you can use it in your workflows to make them really effective and also to make sure that you're not processing a lot of things at the same time. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you.